The Yorkshire Integrated Catchment Solutions Programme is a way to get stakeholders and universities throughout Yorkshire together to help drive some practical solutions to some of the main problems that are being faced within natural flood management, flood risk, as well as water quality, improvements to the economy and resilience for communities as well. The Yorkshire Integrated Catchment Solutions Programme uh, so far has put in place a number of solutions uh, from a flood risk point of view. We've been working on sharing best knowledge amongst existing schemes uh, in Yorkshire. And so this is looking at uh, maybe scheme proposals, how we can uh, solve flooding problems, how we can uh, share from novel approaches in existing catchments. So for example, if we think about the catchment we're standing in here, water's flowing down there, that's a result of rainfall. And when it rains hard, it comes down fast because the valley sides are really steep. But we can put solutions in place that slow the flow and mean that villages, towns and major urban conurbations of the region don't get flooded. We can roughen the vegetation surface to kind of slow it before it gets to the rivers. And we can also slow the flow in the rivers themselves and all the various tributaries by having woody debris dams and so on. So there's really innovative bits of science that we can do to inform where we do those things and how we do those things so that we can reduce the flood peak downstream. Some of the research that we're using within Yorkshire was actually funded by NERC where um, I was able to go out to Alaska to some of these pristine environments and actually look to see what natural functioning in a pristine environment um, is like. And so we're able to come back to Yorkshire and actually try and use some of those features. We're looking at, uh, at translating this knowledge is research-based into something which is meaningful and, um, and which changes the way in which things are done. So by providing that evidence base in the right context to support business cases, to change the, the proposals which are taken forward, uh, and to actually learn from that and share and disseminate that, that information um, is, is, is really important. Just down here, it, wasn't, it doesn't have a huge um, agricultural benefit. So the Integrated Catchment Solutions Programme has been really good for us as practitioners to be able to utilise science in a very effective way. So we make sure that what we are doing in the landscape is actually having a positive effect. It's also allowed us to quantify the effects of natural flood management. And that's one of the very important things going forward is to be able to understand how effective natural flood management can be as a flood risk tool. Where that's coming from are things that maybe were done 10 or 15 years ago, funded by NERC, around, for example, water flow through peat, or how peat releases carbon from it into the watercourses. And using that understanding now is helping to inform millions of pounds of peatland restoration millions of pounds of investment from water companies that actually saves tens of millions of pounds to the local economy and to water customers in improving their drinking water quality and saving money at the treatment works. We spend a lot of time talking about the rainforests and you know, we all know how wonderful they are for biodiversity and carbon, but actually, you know, blanket bogs, peat and all those kinds of things, which we somehow take a little bit for granted just because they're right here in, you know, in, the, in the Yorkshire Dales, they're equally important and we should really nurture them, celebrate them and make sure that they're preserved for future generations. Are people getting emotive about what's happening to our, 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 our peat bogs or blanket bogs? Probably those who are not in the know aren't. The huge takeout for me is that we've actually got these huge carbon sinks here in the UK, these peat, peatland bogs, and I think the wider public don't hear that story. So I think it's really important that we start telling that story and we, we emphasise that going forward. And by doing that, we will enthuse not only the government to back it and, and put public money into it, but also get the support of the public behind it as well.